Hi, my name is Vivian and I'm a clinical trainer with Medtronic. Have you experienced low glucose levels recently? We know that preventing lows can be challenging. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Bolusing at the right time is important. You should bolus five to 15 minutes before eating a meal or a snack. Carb counting matters. If you overestimate the amount of carbs you'll eat, you could receive too much insulin in your bolus, causing your glucose levels to drop. If you need help with carb counting, try downloading an app like Calorie King or MyFitnessPal that estimates carbs. Use a bolus calculator on your pump whenever possible to help you avoid insulin stacking. Stacking means that you give a bolus while insulin from a previous bolus is still working in your body. In some cases, stacking can cause your sugar levels to go low. Because a bolus calculator takes into account any remaining insulin from prior boluses, it will help you avoid lows that are caused by insulin stacking. Wash your hands before calibrating. Sometimes leftover food or lotion residue can cause your blood glucose to appear higher than it is. This could lead to your system estimating a higher than needed insulin amount for a bolus, potentially leading to a low. Setting a temporary basal target during exercise can help prevent lows. If you're doing intensive exercise or have a more active day than usual, you may need less insulin temporarily. Using the system's temporary settings will ensure you receive less insulin and can help prevent lows. It's important to keep working at reducing the number of lows you experience, but we know they happen. When you experience a low glucose level, we recommend treating mild and moderate lows using the 15-15 rule. Try this. First, eat 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates if your levels drop below 70. Some examples of snacks or drinks we'd recommend are four ounces of juice, six ounces of regular soda, or three to four glucose tablets. After 15 minutes, recheck your blood glucose. If your glucose is still below 70, repeat steps one and two every 15 minutes until your level is within range. If you're using SmartGuard Auto Mode, you may need less than 15 grams to treat a low. Your healthcare team can provide you with a recommendation. We hope these tips help you achieve more time and range. If you continue to experience low glucose levels, we'd recommend checking in with your healthcare team. Thanks for watching.